see you again. Just going to work. We're in downtown Manhattan, driving up to the Hayden Planetarium on the Upper West Side. So let's do this. So, let's see. So thanks for joining me. New York City has like 8 million people in it. I mean, it's, it's kind of had that number like for the last 100 years. It's fluctuated 7 million, 9 million. It's been about 8 million. Oh, guess who I see? Dude, what's up? Where are you going? Oh, well, I was waiting on the 103 to go up to, go up to the Hayden Planetarium because I'm not, I'm not uh, fancy enough to roll around in a super cool SUV like Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. So, but uh, okay, let me just be honest. I'm stalking you, Neil. Oh, exactly. Um, I've just been waiting here all day because I know your car. I know you were. You, I worry about you sometimes. I was just like. So you, you oh. so you coming up to? That's good. Of course. That's good. Of course, because. Down here. So I'm gonna make a big uh, confession about the planetarium, of what, which you that? are the director. Yeah. Of the Hayden the, Planetarium. That's my day job. That's your day, which uh -huh. changes the lives of young people every single day. You know, I, so yes, I think it does that. But the people who need their life change are the grown-ups. <laughs> okay. So then. <laughs> Here's one. All right, so here's the deal. I'm one of those grown-ups. Oh, okay. Because yeah. my wife has taken the kids to the I planetarium twice. Oh, you come through a building? That's what I'm saying. Oh, dude, it's a you sneaky U -turn. really, okay. All right, it's a I, am sneaky officially, U -turn. I am officially uh, impressed for your New York driving. I'm just saying, because otherwise that, I got to go like five lights around a, around a corner. I'm a, I am so, officially impressed because this is some old down low, <laughs> sneaky <laughs> New York, like you got to live here forever. To know, to know the situation. To cut through this building, which has a barrier that <laughs> drops so that anyone looking to cut through here would be like, well, I'm trapped. You're trapped, but right. But you know that the barrier goes up automatically because it's an exit only. You got it. Pedestrians that know they should right, walk in All right, let me just say front. this. Yeah. All right, I don't know, uh, for you guys, you in the front seat, that was a gangster-ass move that Neil deGrasse Tyson just pulled behind the wheel of a car. That was, that's like New York gangster driving right there, straight up. Uh, dude, that was amazing. <laughs> All right, so now we're right back here. Right. Quick and easy. That's amazing. Are those two cops up there? Yeah, they're cops on uh, little motorcycles. Okay, little scooters. Which you don't see that scooters. much anymore. Yeah, not as much uh, anymore. They'll do it for like parades and stuff. Dude, they're scooter cops though. That's a little, I don't know if that's a, like, a little embarrassing. Well, but in New York, we don't have Harley cops, like, you know, yeah. we have in other places. Yeah, because you can't get around in the traffic. Like, right, I guess right. the scooter is more nimble. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. can kind of dart in and out. Mm -hmm. But it, it looks a little funny to see a cop on a scooter. You think when they go home, it's, Daddy, what are you doing? I drive a scooter. I drive a scooter. <laughs> I guess it's better being a scooter cop where you're like a kick scooter, where you just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> No, but two-wheel scooter is better than a three-wheel scooter. You ever see the three-wheel one? Yeah, I did see the, yes. this, like, you know, it's, it's almost like they, they, they stole it from the kindergarten yard. I was going to say, yeah, when, when your scooter has training wheels, <laughs> let me just say, <laughs> give up. Give up on life. When, your scooter, when you are driving a scooter with training wheels, give up on life. Okay? That's, that's my advice to you. 